on the ACT. So only 45% ACT say are ready. And we've been here at the time and you've heard, four out of 10 students are taking remedial math at college. All right, I'm, and if you've been around Platteville, they're doing a lot of work at UW Platteville. And I'm actually sitting with a couple of professors working on a grant to address that four in 10. We're trying to find a way to create some lesson study groups to work in the district from fifth grade, fourth grade to fifth grade, up to twelfth grade, because what do you need? Time and money. So we're working on a grant to try to get the time and money. You can see that Judah, as a company, even before me, was bouncing around this national average of 45%. And then you can see the last two years, 2011, 2012, and then I can put a point up there. My last three data points, all around 70, 69, and 68%. Can't screw up the good students. They've always been above 22. This really pulls up your bottom students. It really makes them master. And is it procedural? Yeah. But I come back to it. It's only 40 minutes a week. Three quizzes, two quizzes. It has to be time. It has to be time. You know? Because again, the students will say, oh, I'm just not good at taking quizzes. <clears throat> These are not long problems. All right? If you don't know it, you don't know it. I mean, yeah, I get that if I put a polynomial division on a quiz, you could spend all day trying to think about it. But it just means you can't master it. So it is procedural. I don't apologize either for it. Because I run it for 40 minutes out of my whole week. And finally, I did this. I just started averaging. I took all the students in 04 and they averaged 19 point, under 19.8. Then I added all the 04 and 05 students and took their average as a collective and did that. In the last three years, we've been, we're just trending up. We are just getting better and better. And again, in my gut, I knew this. Um, so this is how I'm gonna measure from here forward because I have to have a way to measure what I want to target now. Next steps, what am I doing next? This, this is a busy one. Okay, we might not be able no, to. No, no, you're not ready. All right. Common Core Standard. I'm running into the cliff, guys. My eighth grade textbook, if you weren't in here, I said before, I took the eighth grade book, because it's K-12 and we all work together, and it has 25, basically 25 things, all right? Our current book has three of them in it. So our eighth grade current curriculum is void of 22 of the Common Core Standards. We have huge issues to deal with, and it all goes four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm sure, I know a lot of districts are in the same big struggle because middle school changed. It changed from more numbers, bigger numbers, to actually more algebra geometry. And we have some things to do. RTI, actually, Judah's sitting pretty good with RTI. We work pretty hard at it. I'm pretty excited about it. Rigor. As a school, we're talking about rigor because this, I have not made more homework to do this. I mean, we can quiz more often. I think we brought the rigor up. I forced, all right, we have a situation or a case where the, you have to have the foundation. You have to be well at these things. You can't get to geometry unless you get out of algebra one. You can't get out of algebra one unless you can do some of the quizzes. Did you ever bring the forward this thing? No. Okay. It might be outside. Um, we're going to bring this. Quiz thing down into the middle school, sixth grade through twelfth grade. Ma grading based on mastery. I don't know if it means quizzes, but like a lot of middle schools, our middle school currently had a lot of grading. When I talked to the teachers, and we all agree we're going to move out of this, but it had a lot of behavior grades in math. You know, you sat nicely, you did your homework, you could get a B minus. No offense, that student gets a B minus and comes up to algebra one and gets a D minus. If I didn't have some credibility in the district, again, the rail and I might have had a problem. I might have run out on the rail. I really want quizzes with more context. That was a trade that was not easy for me. I really dislike how they look, but they're easy to grade and they're quick. And you've got to decide what you want. But I'd really get the quizzes that had more context. It had at least a couple problems on them, or it had some word problems. I'm going to move to no calculator quizzes occasionally in 10th or 12th grade. I don't allow calculators in freshman now. Eighth grade freshman algebra on test quizzes. A lot of times I tell them to set them up and don't finish them. Or if it's simple math, um, 
again, there's a lot of arguments, a lot of districts. I've had a lot of teachers tell me, you got to use calculators. No. Because then I end up with students who type 7 times 8. And I'm not going to, and so, my big one, personally, math, ACT, I want to go up another half over the next 18 months. It seems weird, but from here forward, the whole year plus into the summer. And I want my math ACT benchmark hit to a point where three quarters of my students are always ready for college eligible for the ACT. And I'd like to see all my students be compass ready. If you've ever taken the placement test for technical college, I didn't put that on there, but I want all my students to be able to, to do the compass and not end up in remedial math at a tech school. And actually, we're close to that now. We test every year. We drag all our students on a bus to the technical college, and they all take the compass. I'm going to steal a chair from my, my dad here. Oh, no, they don't get this. I'll see you at the end of the chair. All right, thank you. Um, I'm going to show you some quizzes here. I was hoping you'd have some, but blended technology. Here's the problem. If I'm not going to do this in the course, right, if I'm not going to take time to address it, and I'm going to put 40 minutes into it, and you get it all wrong, and I'm not willing to spend class time, and you don't want to come in, what are you going to do? Um, you know, I use in Khan Academy, you know, it's procedural, but so are my quizzes. You know, if you're missing a concept, we can do this. The uh, thing with blended technology, I heard uh, Kevin Honeycutt, he came to our district, we partnered with another, he's great, he's 21st century skill. If you have a chance to watch any of his videos, I would do that. Um, this is not a video for this conference, but I'm going to go through it quickly, because the one thing he convinced me of here a couple weeks ago, was just to start tape recording myself. Just start tape and start posting. And uh, this is what I made for a couple of our districts that we worked together. Because I worried about video quality and I worried about the mistakes I would have in it and how it would look on YouTube and I hate listening to myself and I hate watching myself on video. But this is how I'm going to help the students who are not doing well in these quizzes. Because it doesn't take a lot of time. You just set up the camcorder. The mistakes I made will be on record forever, right? And you just plug in your computer and you load it to YouTube. And I just wish I'd have started sooner. Um, I'm not going to play the videos now. This is for uh, a lot of non-teacher, a lot of non-math teachers. So I made a warning that you could get smarter by watching these videos. It's uh, I pick on my coworkers a lot. Um, here's one where I uh, just grabbed myself where I was working like five or six examples from the homework for factoring trinomials. You know, nothing earth shattering guys, you do it, you know, but I grabbed the UCAM, or the YouTube video and, you, and I could play it, but the problem is I don't have sound. Um, it allows students to learn missing counts, allows them to practice, because here's the thing I tell a student in geometry, hey, on YouTube I got factoring trinomials, a couple of them. Watch it when I put the board, problem on the board. You try to work it and pause me, you know, take a step, see if you get it, and then get it, all right? And you know, and I, and I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You do that, I'll put it on the next quiz. How's it, you know, that's one of my favorite things to say. And then I, and then they got to get it. Um, the other thing I also like about it, this I did with uh, Screenomatic, and I'm not sure, it just, if you type in screenomatic.com, it allows you to just capture your screens and talk to the computer. And it makes a video. So this is something, uh, one of my big projects, I have them uh, research a stock project. And then all I do is I give them the ticker symbol of a stock and say, yeah, write me a report on HRL. And then they watch this and this walks them through. And then I can walk around the class and talk about the PE ratio. And that's one of the reasons, uh, the percent for dividend return. Those are the things we're picking up off these stocks that I use for algebra. Um, it allows you to do fun things. I got a couple commercials. My kids and I love to do these commercials. Uh, this one's dividing by zero and the paper goes on fire. Um, guys, it, you know, we talked at the dinner table about this. My sixth grader, fourth grader, and my second grader. We were joking around about it. And I said, yeah. And my daughter was talking, you can't ever divide by zero. Cause I'm the math teacher, so we talk math. And I said, we, what should happen? He said, paper should burst in flames. <laughs> guys, I did this commercial. If you want to watch it then, I'm more than willing to show you. I did it in four minutes after dinner with my kids. You know, so it's not, you know, you get fast. It's hard the first few times, but you get fast. And I have a reason for homework there, as commercial to do homework. This is a good story, and I want to tell you, because I think I have time. 
Yeah. I uh, had a student gone for AP Calc. I don't remember why. And we were going to cover a free response question. And I didn't want to double back for him. So I threw the camera up. 2005, AP Calculus, free response number six is what I called it, due to math. And I got a couple of emails. And the first one was from a student from Vermont. I've had a couple of emails and posts about it. Because the all quickly becomes people well beyond Judah. Um, and for me, that was just the kind of thing. And again, this is all done with that flip cam there and screen matic And you worry less about how, who or how it is and just ask, can it help? I don't predict Khan is really procedural. He's horribly boring. His practice screens, though, aren't bad. I like them. And if you make yourself the coach, and this video is how to make Mr. Anderson your coach on Khan Academy. That's what this video is. I can see where you struggle on these concepts beyond. And again, it's given me the power outside the class period. And eventually I have some videos. Like when I, um, right now they're designing a house in Google SketchUp. And it has a whole slew of, and they're in the lab all the time working on this. So I had a lesson in geometry that was trapezoids. And no offense, I browbeat my students to be able to do triangles. So they can make any shape into triangles. So I knew in this lesson that this is not a challenge for my kids. This is a boring lecture. We're going to look up, pretend to be taking notes, and be looking in their textbook to do homework. You know, you, you, we know that lesson, right? So I just taped it and said, if you have problems with trapezoids, watch this. And anyway, again, and it's just starting. I can't stress enough. I, it was two months ago. I just started. And I'm going to use that as my backbone for helping these students who can't do all the quizzes. Um, so the quizzes. Yeah. Do you have any, especially if you're just doing the farming thing and such, and I'm guessing that they're not especially um, to walk the family? Oh, I know, yes. Um, and that you have a profile for a competition. Um, we, so when you put these videos online, you do my dialogue. Right. So. It takes a while. So how do these, they don't watch my home then? No, so we. Oh, okay. oh, they don't watch my home. And I make, and I have. I so have, have study hall periods? Yeah. We have a 20 minute common period where if I have students who are not doing well, I pull them down and we have headphones and they watch right in my room. I have eight computers that I got donated from USDA. I got so all they stuff. don't do any of this at home? Well, you can't. I have haves and have nots. Almost 50% free or reduced lunch. All right? So, <laughs> was that, is it, did I ask for the world? We can talk about <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't no, it, it worked out. It was just, it was a puzzle. Awesome. Mental. Oh, did they? Did it, they was, it was mixed oh. up, so I had to sit and try. Only like three packets, but thank you. Now I feel. Well, thank you. You've been very useful. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I have and have nots. So I always am aware of how do I get this to the have nots? Because you can't, I can't require so. I can't. Because, like you said, I have little pockets of dial. I also have little pockets of kids that I have to so that's, yeah. But I, we have a 20 minute common period and I don't hesitate to pull kids out to my room. And again, here's the beauty of a small school. John, Rick, Frank, in my room for common period, I'll call the teacher. And I call them out in the hall. And then they come. It's like, trinomials, you know, first order equations, whatever. Hit YouTube, you know, watch it, practice. Because that common period is not study. It's reading or whatever a te our teacher wants. So, yeah. Time. Oh. So here. Uh, maybe you want to do that. Yeah, why don't you hand the packs out? If you want a pack, take a pack. If you don't, listen. If you want the quizzes, I'm just going to show you real quick. I, again, I have lots of these, and I can't stress enough. You know, well, this is a oh. here. Here's the one I want to start with. I I practice this. Voice. Okay, so here's a quest from a quiz from September, guys, in G algebra. You'll quickly notice that the quiz is fractions, circles, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions. It's not algebra yet because they haven't mastered algebra yet. We, you know what I mean? So we have integers. Yeah, this is a scary grade. The first couple weeks of school. Whoops moving around. And it progresses. Um, um, here's a quiz from February. 